Hello, welcome to Jamro's Electronic Solutions. We have got another video as well here. Again, we are coming with something that we think someone might need out there. Maybe you may want to know how to do this. Uh, it is a fuel uh, pressure sensor. This is a Skoda Rapid and it's a petrol, but it's direct injection. So I just want to go through that, but if here I'm just testing the battery. We have 12.6, that's a fully charged battery. Um, so now we need to go and investigate the sensor itself. I have the sensor disconnected. So I'll turn the ignition key on. I'm on pin number one, uh, which is yellow and brown. Pin number two is white and blue. Pin number three is yellow and red. So I'll start with uh, pin number one with the sensor disconnected. Um, let me let me be uh, quick here to to mention to you that there is no trouble code with this thing. I just want to show you what it is like when it's working fine, so that when you are looking for one that is working good, use this video. Um, if you get any deviations from what I've shown you, then you know that there is a fault. Okay, so let's start there. So pin number one is 0 0.0029 volts, okay? That's our pin number one. We need to take note of that as we go. Oh, seems everything is just going on. Right, so that is 0 0.00. .00 Two nine. Okay, that's pin one. We'll go to pin two. Uh, yep, must be good. That's our 5 volt reference. Well, well, let me not say it's our 5 volt reference. We have 5 volts because that could be a signal wire just, okay? I don't know at the moment. We have 5 volts. All right? So, pin number 2. Uh, sensor disconnected key on. That's 5 volts. Uh, let me go to the last pin, which is yellow and red. This could be another 5 volts, it could be 0 volt, it depends. Then I'll be able to tell the uh, meter is off. Yep, like I said, you see, there is another 5 volt. So uh, I will not know which one is my 5 volt reference until I connect this sensor. So that's something that I want you to learn there. Um, that's a five volt again. Okay, so we've got two five volts, why? Okay, one of these five volt, and I suspect it should be this one here, the white and brown and blue, I don't know. It should be a, a signal wire. So as soon as we plug in, it should drop. But I suspect that that one will stay up because that will be our 5 volt reference that works with this ground so that we have a signal. I don't know. Let us plug in and and see. This is a good thing. I, I know many technicians that get lost when we get here where we have two 5 volts. They're asking questions, why? You know, they think, is, is my, my, my 5 volts shorted to this wire? No, 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 it's not. It's coming from the ECU. This could be just a bias voltage. Let's see. I'll connect the sensor, I'll turn the ignition key off and then connect the sensor. Don't connect anything but when the key is on. Wow. It's one of the sensors that is in a wrong position, but see that? Wow. <laughs> 
Andy. Yep. That's us. That clicked. So we go back to number one. And we make sure it is fully in. And then we, I need to turn the ignition key on. Key is on. We are moving to the new stage now. The next stage is sensor connected, key on, okay? So I'll go in there and then so 0 0.0036 this looks good so uh, that's 0 0.0036 uh, i can safely say to you that's my ground okay i can confirm straight away i don't have a wiring diagram nothing i'm looking at the way things are going from here to here this is my ground now i can confirm that the next thing i'll confirm my signal <clears throat> we go to pin number two if this is my signal the voltage will drop if this is if the voltage stays up at five it means that that's our five volt reference but usually the middle wire is a signal wire I could be wrong let's try and see let's bring our, our meter here and then I go for a ground uh, let me see right see we don't have a good connection here let me change my probe and see it contact here Yeah, I want really a good contact here. Uh, let us see. There you go. We have got 0 0.59 volts. Okay. We have a 0 0.59 volt. Like I said, it should drop down. There you go. Um, remember for... I 0 0.59 volt this is our signal wire and I've always said to you technicians that when you're measuring these pressure sensors if you get 0.5 of a volt if you remember go back to other lessons that we do on zoom if you uh, get I have said to you if you get a 0.5 of a volt it means that your ground is good. It means that your power is good. So you don't need to worry about whether they, do you have an open here or on the ground. You don't. Because once you get that, it confirms that these other two are working fine. So this is a good lesson uh, for testing these sensors. It is actually coming good. I'm enjoying it because you can see a pattern forming here. So let's go. Um, we now expect this pin number three the yellow and red to stay up uh is five volts all being well that should stay up as five or five volts uh let's see there you go bingo five volts so genuinely some of you might say uh Maybe you have done this before you came on the video. I didn't. I, I didn't. Just follow what I'm teaching you here. It's a good skill that you need to master uh, to be able to know. Because so this one is, uh, this is our power, which is our five volt reference. Okay. And straight away, I can tell you know by the pattern of these as they come once i come to the second stage i can deduce what these are doing here i knew that this was my ground i knew but i couldn't deduce between these two which one was my signal okay because both of them the ecu puts five volt here the moment you disconnect the sensor the ecu puts five volts it use it uses it for diagnosis it knows when it sees full voltage that 
there is an open okay it knows that if if i can go with the diagnostic machine it will tell you sensor shorted to ground or open because it does not sometimes know the diagnostic machine might not know exactly what's going on but there you go so now what we want to do we want to come to the last stage uh, someone asked me says please please shorten your videos to about 13 minutes i'm dying to try that i hope i'll be able to do that it's only that there are so many things to explain you know uh, so many lessons so let's get the engine running and then do the same tests again and see if we can conclude something here Our engine is running now so let's go back to our ground let's see how much is gonna change we want to go to the ground side there shouldn't be much of a change hold on hold on all right it's all right Yeah, we've got 0 0.2 now, 0 0.29, 0 0.4, okay, uh, 0 0.0, yeah, between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4, so that's, that's the ground side there, uh, 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 volts, okay, 0. 0 0.02 0 0.0 0 0.04 0 0.02 volts to 0 0.04 volts thanks Cadbin <coughs> okay. let's keep that one in there right we'll go to the next I'll use my red one. Right. So let's see our signal wire when we are idling. This is engine. There you go. We have two volts there, 2.2 .2 volts. Okay, 2.24 now that's the signal at idling so 2.24 volts okay this is our signal idling okay let's just confirm that that doesn't change it doesn't change whether here here or there it will not change let's see we put five volts that part does not change so i want you to remember that we have five volts okay uh, this does not change so the last thing that I want to do is to, uh, let me try here, uh, we want to step, to go back on the signal wire which is pin number 2, we had 2.24 volts, uh, but now we want to see if we can get I'm going to rev to 2,000 revs and then you watch this, uh, the meter and see what we are going to get. So let's keep our, on the meter, bear with me there, just want to make sure that I set up the 
does not disconnect. Right at the moment we've got 2.2 as you can see I'll rev it to I went to rev there, I put it at about 3,400 and you saw that we had about 3.4 volts. So uh, the more fuel pressure, the more um, voltage we have. Uh, maybe this sensor should be from zero to about 4.5, okay? So that's how you test um, a fuel pressure sensor. It is that simple, not difficult at all. So I've shown you all the three stages. Let me cap up here. Um, remember the video is from Jambros Electronic Solutions and we are dealing with a Skoda Rapid and we, um, it's a four cylinder one. It's a fuel direct petrol injection and we disconnected the key. We have three pins. Pin one was 0 0.029, uh, pin two was five volts. Pin 3 was 5 volts. We connected, okay, we did the same tests again, it was not much of a change on pin, pin 1, that's our ground, but look at pin 2 dropped to 0.5 of a volt, okay, this is, this sensor is different from your DPF pressure sensor that will go to 1 point something volts, this is 0.5 of a volt, and if you just want to do a quick check, you just come to this sensor here, connected ignition key on once you get that move on go to something else it's not this sensor it is fine look um, so that's what we got here one thing that I want to mention this uh, 5 volt reference it will not change you can see that it is staying the same what changes is the signal because the ECU defaults it to 5 volt and then once you connect you get 0.5 of a volt, which is zero pressure, mind you. This is zero pressure. And then now we have got 2.2 uh, two something, 2.4. Two and whenever we rev it, okay. you see. right, there was a fly here. I think it wanted to be included in the video. Uh, so 3.4 volts. At 3,400 RPMs. Right, ladies and gentlemen, um, that's me. That's the last thing I wanted to say. 3.4 volts uh, when you put the revs at 3,400 RPMs. So that's how we test a fuel pressure sensor. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Uh, please remember, uh, let me beg you. Um, if it's genuinely something that has interested you and something that is um, you have learned something from please give us likes um, it, I, it encourages us you know to keep on making these videos as well if the algorithm is looking for that you know it, it makes us also look good but I'm not saying make us look good when we're not good we are genuinely happy please guys uh, press that like button and also, don't forget to uh, to press that um, bell because what, if you don't press the bell, you're not going to get the notifications. Please press the bell. We try to post two videos a week. Okay, so hopefully you will enjoy this. Thank you very much. Remember to subscribe.